Beforehand, it was like it was it was like any other game. You know, guys were up for it, ready to get out there. Kind of really, kind of jumping around the room, wanted to get out there and get the job done. And afterwards, a little bit different um, from what it has been the last 12, 12 games. You know, um, lads were down, a bit upset, didn't really know kind of what had happened in the game. You know, it's kind of hard to think about the game straight away afterwards. You know, so we we you know me personally, I just kind of got myself changed and. Got out of there as quick as I can. Had one or two drinks to set myself afterwards. So just um, it was hard to take in. But when we f- finally sat down and watched watched the video, we kind of um, we realised that we, we you know we gave them a lot of you know they were clinical and very efficient. But you know they they, they we kind of helped them along as well with, our, with the mistakes we made and and that we weren't efficient ourselves. We left a couple of try scoring opportunities out there. But you know, reviewing that and seeing that still, you know, leaves with a little bit of confidence in ourselves and, and you know, kind of we know what to do now going forward. I don't think losing our record drives us on at all. I think we still have a, a Six Nations Championship to play for, a Triple Crown, and um, that's what guys are, are really striving for now. And, and all we can do and control, like we always have been, is, is the game that's at hand. So we just got to look forward to playing uh, England in Twickenham and um, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to get up for it because you're playing England but yeah, it's, it's going to be a big one and that's all we can control and, and win that, you know, you know, make a plan and win the game and, and see what happens after that. I think they're a very uh, kind of set-piece driven team, forward driven team, you know, they go from set-piece to set-piece and they have a very powerful pack to get around the pitch and, and kind of impose themselves in the game so you know, we're, we're going to have a work cut out for us as a pack um, at set piece, you know, in line outs, scrums, both in attack and defence, and then around the field, we're going to have to impose ourselves on them and not let them kind of get a bit of a stronghold on the game, their, their pack. And after that, you know, hopefully get a quick bo- bit of quick ball for our backs, and I'm sure we all know what they can do. We, we create chances in the France game, we're always creating chances, it's just, you know, times just, you know, not being clinical enough, not having, you know, the final pass not happening for you or something like that. So I think. Um, you know, we, we, we're in a good place right now and you know, granted we lost but we, we've, we've reviewed it and we know what we did wrong and, and hopefully going forward um, coming into this England game we, we can improve on it well, People kind of bring up all the old enemy and stuff like that but you know, it's, it's kind of funny at this stage really it's, um, it does bring a new kind of side to it I don't think it's a, you know, a, a, a mean edge or anything like that I think uh, it's just, I mean, bloody hell, I've, I've been saying it to people, it could be tiddlywinks or drafts or darts or whatever, you still want to beat the person, you know. <laughs> um, you want to beat an Englishman always, and um, it's going to be great to go over there and, and play in such a, a great stadium. They have they've a great setup over there. I was over there recently with, with Leinster against London Irish, and um, when that place full, it's, you know, it's, it's hopping to some great noise, great atmosphere, and, you know, it's a great one for all the Irish people over there to, to get up and, and cause a bit of noise.